Arthur's First Sleepover by Mark Brown Narrated by me Arthur was getting ready for his first sleepover. It isn't until Saturday, called Mother. Come in and eat your breakfast. Father laughed while he read the paper. Some man in town says he saw a spaceship, he chuckled. Probably the same man who thinks he saw Elvis at the mall, joked Mother. I don't believe in aliens, said Arthur. The National Require does, said D.W., and they'll pay a lot of money for a picture of one. On the way to school, the girls were talking about the spaceship. Arthur wanted to talk about his sleepover. We can have the sleepover in my tent, said Arthur. You wouldn't catch me out in a tent with these spaceships landing, said Muffy. Bad news, said Buster. My mom thinks I'm too young for a sleepover. I can't come. But you have to, said Arthur. It's my first sleepover, and you're my best friend. Why do you call them sleepovers, said Francine. No one ever sleeps. That afternoon, Arthur told his mother about Buster's problem. Well, I'll see what I can do, said Mother. Arthur crossed his fingers while she dialed. Buster's mom did all the talking. Yes, no, of course, said Mother. Absolutely. Good talking with you, too. Bye. Mother smiled and nodded her head yes. Hooray! cried Arthur. Does Buster's mom know about the spaceship? asked D.W. I saw flashing lights from one today. I think that was the pizza shop sign, said her mother. Saturday morning, Arthur was outside making the tent cozy for his sleepover. His family helped, too. I was just thinking, said D.W. How do we know you're our real parents and not aliens in their bodies? Did you brush your teeth? asked Father. And pick up that mess in your room, young lady, said Mother. Okay, okay, said D.W. They sound real to me, said Arthur. Arthur was looking for his flashlight when Buster and the Brain arrived. It was here a minute ago said Arthur. I wonder if you'll see any aliens, said D.W. If we do, said the brain, how will we communicate with them? Forget about communicating, said D.W. Take pictures for the National Requirer. Use my camera. We can split the money. Let's make some signs, said Arthur. Good idea, said Buster. But first we have to call my mom. After they finished their signs, they unpacked. I brought a few snacks, said the brain. I brought a rubber snake, said Arthur, to keep D.W. away. What did you bring, Buster? Just my baseball cards, said Buster, and my blankie. Do you think we really will see aliens tonight? No, do you? said Arthur. Highly unlikely, said the brain. The boys forgot all about aliens. They were too busy telling jokes and trading baseball cards. Pillow fight! screamed Buster. Quiet! said the brain. What's that sound? Footsteps! whispered Buster. And they're getting closer, said Arthur. Oh no! Pizza delivery! called an unfamiliar voice. Compliments of the sleepover parents! Everyone laughed. I almost stopped breathing, said Arthur. I almost wet my pants, said Buster. Before they knew it, they heard another voice. Lights out, said Father. It's after nine, bedtime. Already? said Arthur. Thank you for the pizza, sir, said the brain. You're welcome, said Father. Good night. Good night, said the boys sweetly. As soon as they heard Father go back into the house, they shot out of their sleeping bags like cannonballs. I heard bedtime, said the brain, but I didn't hear sleep time. Let's tell spooky stories, said Arthur. How about cards, suggested Buster. Just as it was Arthur's turn to go fish, they saw the flashing lights. They dropped their cards. It got very quiet. Aliens, whispered Buster. I don't hear any footsteps, whispered Arthur. Of course not, said the brain. They haven't landed yet. Lights flashed again. 
They're headed for our tent. Run for your life. No one could find the flaps. Help! screamed Buster. Let me out. The tent collapsed. That didn't stop them from making a run for it, but a large maple tree did. Ouch, said Arthur. I'm calling my mom, said Buster. Look, said the brain. The lights are coming from your house. I think I know this alien, said Arthur. It's from the planet DW. Arthur noticed the things they used to make signs. That gave him an idea. Let's put our tent back up. I think I know a way I can teach that little space creature a lesson. Later, Arthur crept quietly into the house. D.W. was in her room laughing. What's so funny? he asked. What are you doing up here? said D.W. Did you come in because you're scared? Not really, said Arthur. I'm returning your camera. You'll probably see an alien before we will. I doubt it, said D.W. Well, just in case, said Arthur. Sweet dreams. Then very quietly he returned to his tent. A minute later, D.W. heard a tap at her window. Aliens, she screamed. She screamed so loud it woke everyone in the neighborhood. Everyone except Buster, the Brain, and Arthur. When mother and father went out to check, the boys were sleeping like little angels. Of course, after mother and father went back into the house, it was another story. The End